This is the CH-47D Chinook, one of the world's most successful heavy lift helicopters. The Australian experience in Vietnam with the United States Chinooks had been a really positive one. So in the 1970s, Australia decided that it should acquire its own small fleet of Chinooks for use within Australia. The example behind me, a CH-47D-202, wasn't acquired until the year 2000, but we've had a constant uh, run of Chinooks in Australian service since the 1970s, and it would appear that they're going to keep going for a considerable time yet. So the Chinook is a heavy lift helicopter and its purpose is to move cargo from one place to another. In Australia obviously it's very useful for emergency relief, you know, droughts, bushfires and floods, it can bring a lot of supplies that are urgently needed. The massive lifting capacity was also useful to troops in the front line and it was quickly pressed into other roles which included the insertion and withdrawal of troops under fire, the lifting of wounded out. One of the things that makes the Chinook so successful is that it has a cavernous and unobstructed interior and a very large ramp at the back which enables quick access for both vehicles and people. You can lift 12 tonnes of cargo or 32 fully laden troops. There's a large suspension hook underneath so it can carry bulkier items such as artillery pieces or larger vehicles. The normal crew would be five, two pilots and three crew in the cabin. Bubble windows which let the crew or the, the people sitting inside see a bit more clearly what's happening outside. You can actually put your head right inside the bubble, make sure there's nothing wrong with the rotors and that there's no obstructions that you might want to steer clear of. A couple of bullets actually struck the airframe and you can see here where they've been very carefully patched by the, uh, the fitters. So around in front of the cockpit, uh, the perspex there is very thin and the, the crew not surprisingly feel pretty vulnerable when they're flying low and slow. So when on active service deployments, the Chinooks are fitted with quite a lot of body armour. 202's last flight was in 2016 when a crew from 5 Aviation Regiment flew it down from Queensland to Canberra for delivery to us here at the Australian War Memorial. We're very, very pleased and proud to be able to receive such an important and historic aircraft into the National Collection and to ensure that it will be looked after in perpetuity. Mm -hmm.